So this is an Enbridge truck, huh? Yeah, that's Enbridge security right there. Their whole goal is to catch me on uh, any property that's by the river. Um, if em Enbridge bought a lot of the property, so their goal is to try to get me arrested anytime they can. So, it's, we can videotape from the road. I'm gonna take you to a ground zero where they have no authority over because they don't own that property. And, um, Do they own this property? Yeah, they bought this house right here, so that way they could clean up this area. They bought that house over there. Um, they bought that house? Yeah, they, they pretty much own about 90% of all the waterfront property now um, where the oil spill happened. Um, then the goal was that you can't sue them because your land is contaminated, so they just buy you out. Then they put their workers in it. If, if they're worried about contamination, why do they put their workers in it? They don't care about anybody's um, health. All they care about is just saving, saving some money, and that's basically what they did. The workers, you put four workers in a house, that's $10,000 a month that they're not having to pay a hotel. And it's just money, this is all about money. So what we'll do now is we'll just get in and we'll go over to the other area. I'm not scared of these guys. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm a Navy veteran with a bronze star. I helped save a man's life in the service. And I'm trying right now to help save lives. And if it means something happens to me, well, you know, you know, maybe this video that you're doing right now, a year or two from now, is gonna, you're gonna make this video and you're gonna show a title going across saying, John Bull and Ball Whistleblower passed away from a mysterious accident, or he died in a hot tub, or he came up missing, or he was shot during deer season, or, or something like that. Um, a lot of people in the Gulf have died. There's seven or eight whistleblowers that have, have passed away mysteriously or been shot or beaten to death. And it's logical that this could happen. Enbridge has been related to um, hit, hit squads down in Columbia. So when I read these things, and it, I know it's true. I know it's really happening. And it's scary. And I have cried, and I did a last will and testament, and I've told my family goodbye, and my family is scared for me. Um, my friends are scared for me. But um, this is bigger than me. So, Enbridge has been following us for about a half hour now, and wherever we go, they're right behind us. See this vehicle right there just sitting? They're just following us wherever we go. So, they're just sitting waiting. As soon as I move and leave, they'll follow wherever we go. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I'm really doing something important. I'm doing something that scares them so much that they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay these security people to follow me around um, for a year and a half now. It feels really good. I know I'm doing something. The cops? Yeah. Get this on video. Where's my camera? This is, I think, the tenth time they've had the police out. I've never been arrested. I was arrested for being on a work site once, but we went to uh, have the trial and, uh, you know, to, to prove where they buried oil and they re dug it up because that's why I went and videotaped it. Embers didn't show up, so they dropped the charges. So I'm, right. I'm out for the community. I'm not causing problems. Okay. Or well, you're on a public street, so right. you're on the side of the road. All right, thank you. All right, as long as you're not trespassing. Well, there. we were over on the property over by the road over there, and they came by, and I, they said, you can't be here. And I said, who are you? And he said, you can't be here. So we walked off. No big deal. Okay. But there's no law against that. There's no fence. There's no trespassing sign. And um, if someone says that you can't be there, you have a right to leave, you know. I know the law, so. All right, well. And I know you know the law. Sounds good. So as long as you're uh, within the confines of it, we're good to go. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hey, Steve. I've never seen this kind of harassment in my life. So this is an everyday thing for you. Uh, uh, 
know, amazing to me. I just you don't know until until you're here. So, so this is a, this is basically a war zone. Yeah, <laughs> let's walk right up to them. Uh, Come on, we're not hurt. We're on the road. We're not doing anything illegal. Everything's fine. The police said I can videotape this stuff. Why are you concerned if I show oil on Embridge property? Why are you concerned about that? I'm trying to give you a hard time. So John, how does that make you feel confronting them like that? It, it feels good because they what he just told the police officer is he didn't want me to be trespassing. Why would they not want me to show oil that is buried and left behind? Why would Embridge call the cops and say he is trespassing when I'm doing their job for them? I am getting the oil cleaned up properly. I'm doing what they're supposed to be doing the first time. I, I feel good about confronting them. And guess what? They're just going to sit here. As soon as we leave, they're going to follow us. So, feels awesome. This is what Embridge told the police. They said, well, we're worried about him trespassing. Why would you worry about me standing on property, showing oil that's been buried or not cleaned up properly? Isn't Embridge, this Canadian company, supposed to make sure it's done right? Here he comes. And if somebody says it's not done right or proves it, why would you try to get that guy arrested? Wouldn't you say thank you? Um, is there anything specific that's attorney-client privilege that no one can know about? Yeah, I only need about two minutes. All right, well, we're gonna pull off uh, to ground zero right now. We got some good video, man. Uh, Ambridge has been following us, and um, we, you know, just videotaping some of the areas, and they called the cops, and the cops, you know, said we could stay, said we could videotape, everything's fine. I mean, it's a normal routine for them to harass me, so. But it's good to, good to have these reporters get all this on video because, um, you know, the more documentation, uh, the, the more people see what these companies do trying to harass the truth tellers. Okay. Uh, so give me two minutes, I'm going to park the vehicle and then we'll, we'll uh, have some free time. Give me a second. Yeah, it's important. So I do want to talk to you as soon as we can, okay? Well, I'm uh, pulling in right now, I'm going to park and then I'll walk off to the side and talk to you. Okay, you want me to hang on the phone then? Yes, please. Local 7. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys where Ground Zero is. Well, maybe we can. Uh, and you can walk down there. Right there's Ground Zero. And that's use, totally legal. It's yeah, we, land. we have. Yeah, this is this is a private property that I have permission to be on from the owners. Okay. Who owns the, it? Um, the the Sheet Metal School. Okay. The Union Sheet Metal School owns it, and they've actually um, given me permission to prove there's oil still here, and they've actually kicked Embridge off their property when Embridge blocked me into a parking lot. They had five trucks block me in. Um, it's a one exit parking lot. And, um, you know, I mean, that's imprisonment what they did. Um, that's 100% proof of harassment. And so I went to the police, uh, made a police report for imprisonment. And they got out of it because um, the prosecutor said because they didn't have weapons that there was nothing we could do about it. So I don't I don't agree with that, but that's when you run someone over, it's a weapon. Yeah. Right, but these this company's got a lot of money, and they they got powerful attorneys, and they get out of this stuff. All right, why don't you guys get out, and then I'll talk to my attorney. We're here at Ground Ground Zero, where the Enbridge pipeline broke. It's been two years since uh, this tragic, you know, technological disaster. There was a wetland, but they disturbed so much of the wetland area that it filled in with water. You know, it, it, it looks like a, a nice Michigan pond, just a nice normal pond, wetland, 
in the middle of Michigan, but it's actually very contaminated to this day. It's hard to believe that the Environmental Protection Agency signed off. That's what we want. We want studies. We want to know what's going on. We, I have hundreds of people showing up at meetings saying they're sick. This is an Aaron Brockovich situation here, exactly. Um, and, and I think it's bigger. Well, um, what does the Attorney General for Michigan say? It's hard to say, huh? They don't okay. say anything.